In the UK, we have more than 400,000 kilometres of sewer pipe. This is enough to wrap around the earth more than 10 and a half times. These pipes contain what's equivalent to one litre of water in order to transport one gram of solid matter. I'm Olivia and my PhD research aims to design a sewer that can transport this tiny amount of solid matter with much less water. Some water is necessary to transport solids in our underground networks, but if we could reduce this amount, we may have a lot to gain. Water is a necessity of life. We depend on it. When water is piped to our houses for our every need, we cannot imagine it being in short supply. Our wastewater is carried away from our houses in sewers. Unpredictable weather patterns and rising populations put strain on our water resources. This is likely to become an increasing concern into the future. We need to use less water in our homes, but how will this affect our existing sewer systems and how can we develop sewer design into the future? Water conservation can reduce the water available for the transport of solids within the sewer. This could cause blockages, leading to corrosion. How exactly does increasing concentration affect the flow in sewers? At what point would the existing system fail? And how could the system be improved to function better in future? London's sewer system was designed to serve 3 million people. There are almost 9 million people living in London today. This system is overloaded and can result in untreated wastewater spilling into our environment. Rising urbanisation puts huge pressures on ageing wastewater networks. Could designing sewers to allow for water conservation increase the efficiency of the current system and reduce the need for new, larger facilities? In the past, we have commonly lived in what's known as the linear economy. Produce, use, dispose, forget. This amounts in a lot of waste. The wastewater treatment process is increasingly being analysed to create useful products from our waste. The more concentrated wastewater becomes, the more effective product recovery. 
Water conservation could make for more effective nutrient recovery and boosted biogas production. How concentrated could wastewater become through conservation strategies? What scale and arrangement of treatment facilities would work best for recovering our resources? Reducing water content in treatment intensifies the process, leading to a more efficient concentrated system. Concentrating up our wastewaters could save money by reducing process size and enhancing treatment efficiency. So not only could energy production be heightened, but we could also see less polluted receiving waters. In my work, I am exploring what design options we have for both new and existing sewers to make sure they can function under reduced water consumption and ensure that we make the best of a more concentrated wastewater. Our sewer infrastructure is huge and very expensive. Could we utilise this network differently? to allow water conservation or better serve communities. Do we need a complete overhaul of our sewerage strategy or is there a less disruptive solution? This short video has highlighted a few of the main concerns and goals involved in developing sewer systems of the future. I am currently simulating the effects of water conservation using models of existing networks. I want to better understand the impacts of water conservation on pipe velocities and how systems could be adapted to function better and exploit the potential benefits. Let's make more of what we waste.